find the lowest form of ratio, divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor of the two numbers, which in this case is 6, and that will give you the lowest form. Another way you can find a ratio is by multiplying a ratio. To do this, multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, which will give you a ratio with higher numbers. Now let's see if 1 5th and 5 25ths are equivalent ratios. So I wrote down these ratios, and you will notice that 25 divided by 5 is 5, the denominators, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. This can al also be worked backwards. 1 times 5 is 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. So what is the unit rate if three pairs of socks costs $9? To find the unit rate, just find the quotient of the two numbers. So I just divided $9 by the three pairs of socks. And I got $3, and that's for one pair of socks. Here I'm going to show you how to plot points on a line graph if you had data from a table. This table shows how many pages you could read in a certain amount of minutes, and here the unit rate is two minutes for every three pages. Here I created a graph to plot the data we just learned from the table. Our first piece of data is two minutes for every three pages, so I plotted that there. Two across and three up. Our next piece of data was four minutes for every six pages, and after that, we had six minutes for every nine pages. So here I plotted them, and next, to show an increase, just draw a line through the three dots, or however many there are. And just to make it more clear, I plotted the points here, and you'll notice they are all equivalent. Create a double number line, draw a line, and then label the two variables as shown. Now, plot your data points. And here is a missing thing, and as you can see, this does have a pattern, 3 minutes for every 4 pages, 6 minutes for every 8 pages, so, so to find the missing, the missing data, just add the intervals like this, plus 3, and plus 3, plus 4, and plus 4, or whatever is being added, and in this case, it is plus 4 and plus 3. Here we are going to find out how to use percents, and our question is what is 40% of 60? So make your double number line, but this time we are going to plot 100%, and we were go and 60 is the 100% in this case. And next, since we need to find 40%, plot 40%, and we don't know that yet. We don't have enough information to figure that out. So what we have to do is since we can't divide 100 by anything to get 40, we can divide 100 by something to get 20, which is 5. So you notice I put 100 divided by 5 is 20. So we have to do the same thing to the top number, so 60 divided by 5 in this case is 12. I just did the division out anyways to show you guys. So it's 12, 
And then after that, you'll notice what 20% of 60 is 12. So we have to multiply 20 times 2 to get 40%. So we can do the same thing to the top number, which is 12. And 12 times 2 is 24. For this problem, we know what 80% is, but we don't have 100%. So to find this, just plot 100% and 80% down. 80% is information we know, like I said. And in this case, 80% is 300 for this problem. Now, 100 can't be divided by anything to get 80%. Really not, it can't be divided by any whole numbers to get 80%. So we're gonna have to find a smaller percentage, which is 20% in this case. Well, you could do 10%, but I'm doing 20. So 80 divided by four is 20%. So remember, we always have to divide the top number by the same um, divisor. So 300 divided by four, is 75 and I just did it out show you guys so this means that 20% of whatever the 100% is is 75 so now to get 100% we need to find what we need to multiply 20% by 5 so we do the same thing to the top number, so we multiply 75 by 5, which, will you no which you will notice will give us 375. So if 80% is 300, then 100 would be 375.